Split up here. Well, you see Harden getting both barrels for me. Yeah, take care of Fletcher, too. Sure, we'll bring you back to pieces, won't we, Ben? Yeah. See you at the cabin. I get in. around? No. You pray it stays that way. There won't be anybody. We were just getting ready to close up. You're Ben Thompson, aren't you? I'll do the asking. What's your name, friend? Holly. That's my wife. What do you want here, anyway? This may take a while. You sit down over there by your wife and relax.
Would it hurt so much to tell us what you want? There's a couple of marshals in this town. Clay Harden and Mark Fletcher. I spent six years in a stinking prison hole on account of them. I figured even things. For a man that's trying to set up an ambush, Thompson, you're sure not being very careful about it. Somebody's bound to see you in here. That means Harden and Fletcher will soon be showing up. That's the point. I'm counting on them thinking this is going to be a real easy touch. <laughs> they might try to take me without a fight. Looks like he's catching up on some of his sleep the hard way. What about the street? How does it look? Just like you figured. Shouldn't be long now. What are you gonna do to us? Well, now that depends, doesn't it? Thompson. I saw him through the window. He's got a gun on Holly and his wife in the bar. All right, Davy. You go on home. We'll take care of it. He won't need that, Clay. You're not going. I told you I want Thompson alive, and once he sees you, he's sure to start shooting. That's not the real reason, Mark, now, is it? You got a good job waiting for you up at the Capitol, and I'm not going to let you risk your neck now, even if you want it. Well, maybe that white-collar job doesn't seem so important right now. Look, you said yourself I'd have a better chance taking him alone, so let's forget it. But that was before he was holed up in the bar. You can't take him now without a fight. I intend to be there when it starts. Not this trip, Clay. I can't take a chance on Thompson getting nervous and gunning Holly and his wife. Don't be a fool, Mark. You don't know Thompson like I do. Be sure to have at least one gunslinger with him like he pulled on me that time in Santa Fe. You aren't going to be able to handle them both. All right. You cover the corral. If anybody's with Thompson, the chances are they'll be trying to pick up some fresh horses, and you can stop him there. But stay off the street. I don't want to fight unless it has to be that way.
you got Fletcher. Better not to look, Clay. He was my friend. Wasn't a thing I could do. That shotgun just practically tore him apart. Yeah. Where's Johnny? He's dead. What happened? And we nailed Fletcher. He never got a chance to pardon Johnny got it on the way out. Yeah, everything turned out just great. I think we should have hung around and got Harden. Is that it? If we had, chances are we wouldn't be here right now. What's the difference? The way things stand now, with Fletcher dead, Harden's gonna be tailing us all the way to Boot Hill and back. Not the way I got it figured. I was buying those Winchesters in Tucson. I heard a lot of talk about Hardin. Word in the capital is he's going to be the new Indian commissioner. I think he's going to throw over a soft job like that to come after us. I don't plan on staying around to find out. If we had any sense, we'd be on our way to California tonight. We'll clear out for California when this is over. Right now, we got a good thing worked out with Delgadito and his Apaches. They're going to pay plenty for those new Winchesters. But if you're worried about anything and you want to pull out, there's no ropes on you. Well, maybe I'll do just that. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. He's getting way out of line, Ben. How come you're letting him walk all over you? We'll be moving out soon. When you know you're gonna have to kill a man, Perez, it costs nothing to be polite. Don't change your mind. No. You're a fool, Clay. I was a fool to let Mark Fletcher walk down that street alone, if that's what you mean. You know perfectly well what I mean. Fletcher was killed doing exactly what he was paid for. How can you feel you're to blame? As long as Ben Thompson is running loose, I can't feel any other way. Can't or won't. Either one. It adds up the same. Not to me. Father and I have pulled a lot of strings in the capital, arranging for the kind of job you said you wanted, which means living like decent people and not savages. And now you're going to walk out on it. Maybe I'm doing you a favor, Aletha, and you don't even know it. It doesn't have to be this way, Clay. You don't have to be the one that gets Ben Thompson. Why, for all we know, some other marshal may have already caught him. He may even be dead by now. Maybe. When I find out, we'll talk about it then. I don't know how I could have ever thought of marrying you. Why, you're nothing but a common gunman yourself. When you get right down to it, Aletha, I guess we're all pretty common, one way or another. Well, there's one thing you can count on. You may be leaving this town as a U.S. Marshal, but I'll guarantee you this. I'll see to it that you won't be one when you get back.
day. Wonder if you ever seen any of these men. No. 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 Sam. Howdy. How are you? Nothing wrong up here, I hope. <laughs> well, we outran a bunch of Apaches a few days back. Well, they won't be in a hurry to stop us again. What can I do for you? Tell me, when's the last time you saw any of those men? Yes, sir. Those braves tried their best to get us. <laughs> Didn't they, Sam? Yeah. Well, that's the way it goes, Marshal. Company just put this rig on the line. They ain't gonna like it. All them holes in the rear end. Hmm. Seen this fella before. You should see them holes back there, right through a new bunch of underwear. Where'd we see this fella before, Sam? Uh, Never do forget a face, and leastways not often. It's all right. Take your time. I got all day. Don't rush me, mister. Let me think. Say, how about a refill? That's it. Give him some water at Dry Creek Crossing a few days back, just before that brush with Apaches. What's the matter with you, Sam? Don't you remember nothing? I remember that looker they had with them. Hmm. Pretty thing, wasn't she? A woman? You sure? Never do forget a face, especially when I do them a favor. How about the water? Help yourself. Gabby cuss, ain't he? Gab! Right. Hey! <laughs> It's almost tight.
please, Marshal. Cut me loose. This rawhide's drawn up. Let's have a, uh, little powwow, Bentley. Oh, then kill it. For God's sakes, kill it. Might be easier than a shotgun. Oh, it wasn't me. It was Thompson that triggered that Marshal. You didn't try to stop him now, did you? I couldn't. Marshal, don't leave me. No, no. I'm pulling up. You bad toters are worse than snakes. You stay out of it unless you want to be back on that tree. Oh, I'll do anything. Just cut me loose. All right. Where's Ben Thompson? He's headed for Calexico with Graybar and Perez. Marshal, Marshal, I'm pulling up. Oh, cut me loose, Marshal. Please, cut me loose. I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up. Please, cut me loose. Get the blood going. All right, drink up. One apiece. The girl first. Hurry it up. That shot will probably bring every Apache in the territory. You didn't have to do that. Get on your feet. We're moving out. No more talk out of you. What do they call you? Abby. Abby? Well, I'm Clay Hart. I'm aboard. I'll walk. You got a hat? No. Here. Use this one. I don't need one. Suit yourself. This way. You better drink up. You too.
The uh, buzzards would have brought the Apaches down. Come on, climb up. I don't need any help. Five miles to the stage station, so you better hold on to me. together. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? the idea. I've used this place before. Come on. Wait a minute. A mountain goat couldn't get up there. All right. You stay here. Be in the morning. Maybe. Watch the light from the fire. What do you think I am? Coffee. It's not very hot. Do you want me to heat it? Don't talk about it. Just pour it. you tick. I've known plenty of men before. I knew what most of them wanted, too. You call Bentley a man? He happened to be going my way toward Calexico in California. Until he had a fight with Thompson. Now Bentley's gone, thanks to you. But California's still there. That's all I need for a fresh start. I imagine you've had uh, quite a few fresh starts. You think that tin badge makes you some sort of god, don't you? What would you know about filthy hands pawing at you all the time? Or having to move on every time the law decides it? Well, why don't you say something?
<laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, nothing, just the way you look. I've set your household. Well, much obliged, Arden. I heard you were around these parts somewhere. Getting so even the Arizona territory isn't large enough. Those red sticks jumped me the first thing this morning, just about the time I finished saddling up. Didn't even have time to pick up my camp. Never thought they'd come looking in the bottom of a gully. They've been chasing me for about an hour, doing a pretty good job of catching me, too, till you came along with that rifle. Reb, you always did talk too much. Abby, this is Reb Carlton. Morning. Roll up. And make sure that fire's out. We'll move out of here before they come back with their friends. Without breakfast? Without breakfast. Give her a hand. I'll see if I can catch one of those ponies. We've been riding double. Uh oh. You're kind of asking for trouble, ain't you? I didn't ask for it. It just happened. Well, that wasn't my fault. And a shotgun? Yeah. Yeah, let me help you with that. Known him before, huh? Yeah, off and on. Ran into him the first time up in the panhandle about a year ago. How come he's carrying a shotgun? Hadn't got the range for this country. That's his business. If you're so old fired interested, why don't you ask him? Well, now, don't get so touchy. I was just wondering. After all, you can't hurt anything over 30 yards away with it. I don't even use one in my business. Oh, well, what's that? Prospecting? Well, you might call it that. I've been called other things, too. <laughs> yes, sir, that's a good name for it. Prospecting. I'll have to remember that. There's only one difference, though. My gold has two legs on it. This beats a shovel any time. Oh, a bounty hunter, huh? Kill a man for the price on his head. I've heard of your kind. No, Abby, you don't want to take that attitude. You don't mind if I call you Abby, do you? I don't mind if you call me Reb. Well, now that you've settled that, do you mind if I finish up? 
Yes, sir, you'd be surprised how much gold a fella can bank, providing he stays alive to enjoy it. I know, mister. All you figure it takes is a bag of gold. Well, now, that depends on who's taking it. Look, I don't know what's between you and Harden, but if you're figuring on getting to him through me, you're barking up the wrong tree. He ran into me yesterday with a man named Bentley. Bentley? Where? He's wanted. That's what I found out yesterday. Where is he? Floating down the river last I saw. Face down. One thousand dollars. Did he mention Perez or Graybar, Ben Thompson? Maybe he did. And then again, maybe he didn't. Or maybe he told Harden. Reb, Abby, hurry it up. I bring the man you had us tie to the stakes, but he did not die that way. <laughs> man called Harden killed him at Yellow River. is now following your trail. You've done well. Tell Delgadito I'll see him soon and repay him. Delgadito says you will come with me. Now. We're biting off more than we can chew, Ben. This Harden's beginning to sound rough as a boot. I've been in plenty of gunfights before, and I always come out on top. I don't figure Harden's going to be the one to change anything. Knowing Harden, I figure he's going to head for the relay station at Cervellas. Maybe we'll arrange to welcome him when he gets there.
break it up right here. We're heading down the stream southwest to cover our tracks. That's a funny thing. I was figuring on doing just that. Looks like we're still company. We could use an extra gun. We've run into plenty of Apache signs. It doesn't matter. I'm dropping you off at Savalis tomorrow. It'll take me weeks to get a stage west out from that station. You'll handle it. Kind of pretty when she's mad. Rip, I don't want any buzzards hanging around this camp. You want the girl, all right, take her, but ride on out. I just told you, I'm riding to the station. What do you two think you're dividing, a sandwich? The lady's got a point. Could be. Let's get one thing straight, Reb. I started out after Thompson, and I have every intention of getting him. past the bend, there's no sense taking chances. We'll stay in the stream and hold up there. You're the stud duck in this pond. some of that. Hey, that's water. You heard what the man said. No fire. No, that's thinking. Well, I got plenty on me. Might as well get some in me. Want something to eat? No, thanks. Coffee? No coffee, no Indians, I guess. That all you got to do? No, but I'm learning something. Well, that's a help. They say you can tell a man by the way he treats his horse. Yeah, or his guns. That makes sense. They're both life or death in this country. Whatever you do adds up to that, doesn't it? What are you afraid of? Someone liking you? Or is it the other way around? What are you after this time? Does someone always have to be after something? I'll take a look around. Abby, everybody's got an axe to grind, one way or another. I only knew one man who didn't. Is that where Thompson comes in? I know Rev wants him. And he wanted Bentley, too. Is Thompson the reason for your shotgun? You ever see a man was worked over by a shotgun? No. You know the man I was telling you about, the one who didn't have an axe to grind? Thompson worked him over good. Both barrels. I think I'll wash up. Stay on the south bank.
worse than a hound dog in springtime, aren't you, Red? It's always open season on her kind. <laughs> Next time you step sideways, I'll kill you. What's eating you two? You're always at each other's throats. You mean he's always at mine? Well, why? I brought a friend of his in once. Feet first. Thousand dollars in gold. A friend? Yeah. Playboy was on the outlaw trail himself until some marshal friend of his reformed him. He started wearing a badge. He's still more killer than lawman. He could have used a gun on you a dozen times. Not Clay. Gunman's pride. Always wants the other fella to make the first move. No profit in that. Profit? I should have let him drown you. He's twice the man you'll ever be. Kind of got you interested, huh? Maybe so. Always dead like spirit. Somebody's out there.
we stop for a while? No. Not too many miles. We can't take a chance stopping here. Clay, I can't. Ten minutes won't hurt. It'll be good to stretch. You stretch. Last time you stretched, you lost your entire camp. Yeah, I heard the man. over there stuck. See if I can pull a switch. Abby, get behind the wagon. Long time no see. I heard you was wearing a badge. Glad your ears are still good, Perez. What do you hear from Thompson? That's enough, you. Still ride back the way you came, you know. You haven't answered my question. Where's Thompson? He said tell you he was sorry. He said he couldn't wait. You ever try shooting a man from the front? Not unless I have to. She's learning, too. Now, what are you doing with that? I told you to stay behind the wagon. A woman's got a right to fight for what she wants. Well, it wouldn't have done much good anyway. Clay! Get us out of this! Here, put it back where you got it. had us penned in since yesterday. We couldn't warn you. How did Thompson know you were coming? I didn't hear about it. Unless one of those Indians he's been running guns to told him. Army boys went through about a week ago. Told us about him. Where's Thompson? He left them two behind to wait for you when which, he rode off. Which way is he heading? What was that name he mentioned? I think it was uh, Delgadito. Yeah, that's right. One of the renegades that broke off the reservation. He's leading a group of about 40 Braves. They've been running wild. You used to know him, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Where have these Apaches been holding up? Last report had him in that mountain range south of here. Uh, boys, this is Abby. Ed, Frank. How do you do? Hello. Clay. He hasn't changed a bit, has he? He sure has. You 
would mind signing this affidavit for Graybar, would you, Marshal? Clay, why don't you wait here? Thompson will show up when he gets tired of waiting for word of what's happened. Uh, you don't know Thompson. He'll keep moving. So will I until I find him. Don't you see if it isn't Ben Thompson? It's... Well, there'll always be somebody. Maybe. Maybe what? Maybe someday you'll run into a faster gun or you'll get shot from behind. Clay, why can't the Army take care of him? If he's mixed up with Del Gadito, it's their job now. And mine. Abby, listen. I've got something to finish. And when I do, I'm heading back for a little ranch I've got. And it's not exactly the kind of life that you'd like. Not the kind of life I'd like, huh? Why don't you say what you're really thinking? That I'm not good enough for you, I suppose. Wasn't like that this morning, was it? Abby, now listen. Oh, you listen to me. Maybe I was foolish enough to have some ideas concerning you. Maybe I thought I'd found a man. Well, all right, so I danced in a saloon, and so I put up with all of it. Well, where would you be if someone hadn't dragged you off the outlaw trail and given you a chance to straighten out? Reb told me all about it. All right, Abby, once and for all, I'm going to tell you something. Killing Thompson the hard way will serve as an example for every gunman in the territory. Oh, that's your excuse, and there'll always be one, won't there? All right, go ahead. Take your shotgun and keep killing. Only this time you'll be trying to forget the sight of a man you blistered with buckshot. Is this the way Del Cadido greets his friends? A friend does not come empty-handed. He would to have brought us guns. I couldn't bring the shipment through. Not with Harden following me every inch of the way. If you want those Winchesters, maybe you'd better take care of Harden yourself. I have already done much for you. You know what happened to Bentley. My Apaches have been as your own. But it cannot go on this way. It had better go on if you and your people want those new weapons to fight with. Then perhaps it is wiser to let the fighting end. Even returning to the white soldier's reservation is better than continuing a fight without hope of winning it. That's up to you. But you can still have the guns if you want to string along. You'd better think it over.
going to invite me down? Why? I thought you said everything. What are you doing here? Didn't want to wait around Sir Vallis, and Reb said that... Reb? So that's who brought you here, huh? Well, where is he? Back there. I thought it'd be best if I came in first. Well, suppose you ride back and flag him in. Don't yell, flag him in. Sure, Clay. I'm not sure. Well, I kept my end of the bargain. I got you here. See, you live up to yours. Don't worry. If I had my way, you'd go after Thompson alone. That's the way I want it. you once I didn't want any buzzards hanging around. Oh, Clay. You stay out of it. Now, Clay, you know. I know. I... I know you're tagging me trying to get Thompson the safe way. More your blood money using her as an excuse to get here. Maybe you're a necessary breed, Reb. But not around me. You want Thompson? All right. But you got to go through me to get to him. What's the matter? Isn't that gold shining bright enough, Reb? Yeah, but your badge shines even brighter. You've been waiting for this a long time, haven't you? Your deal. No, no, please! Turn him loose and get out of there! I told him to bring me out! Then tell him to take you back! make Calexico, ask around. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I'll start back. Let's not make any hasty decisions. Not before we've had a little coffee and a chance to stretch our legs. May have a chance to return there. Some coffee in my saddlebag. Hustle it up while I build a fire. A fire? Just a little one. Nobody's gonna see it. Reb, that's smoke. We ought to be getting out of here. Don't get touchy. Nothing's gonna happen. Let's get going. I'm beginning to get a funny feeling. We're not going back. I'm just giving Clay a chance to get a few miles up the trail. We're not going back. You know what'll happen if you catch up to him. I don't aim to. I aim to stay just far enough behind to get first crack if a certain sack of gold shows up. Then it's Calexico for you and me. That's what you want, isn't it? I suppose so. Then you better drink up. This has got to last us till we get to California. Head for the horses. Keep moving! <laughs>
Where's Abby? That's soon than you expected, huh? Hey, Gibby. Thompson's got some nice playmates. All right, we're... Let's get to no. work. No. You know better than that. It can be slower dying this way, but it's less painful. Imagine. Grab Carlton pinned to a tree. The oldest Apache trick in the book. It's funny. If it hadn't been for this, I might have gotten it clean. Thompson saw this, he thought I was a marshal. Your sidekick. And you tie that. Yeah. You might run into the same luck. How about a smoke? No, thanks. What do they do with the girl? She's with them. They got other plans for her. She's pretty than me. Is there anything I can do for you? I guess not. Uh, not that it matters. I, I'd like you to know something. About that friend of yours I collected, the bounty on. I didn't know he was giving himself up, coming in without his gun. But I guess it wouldn't have made any difference. Go pick out the trail about 40 yards out there. Uh, Leave me your gun, will you? Patches might come back. It won't be long. You should never have come in, Clay. Are you all right? Up to now. You've come a long way for nothing, Clay. I never figured you'd let a gal get you in this kind of a mess. Or is it that badge you're wearing? I figure I got a pat hand, Thompson. Against 50 to 1? My back's all right so long as I'm facing you. Go ahead, why don't you try? Against a shotgun? Delgadito, I come as a friend. I want no fight with you or with your people. I want the white girl and this man. The Apaches are a brave nation. They respect bravery in all men. He wants girl, too. He brings us guns. He is our friend. Your friend? Since when did Delgadito, a great chief, call a coward a friend? Coward? I'll fight him any time with any kind of weapons. This is dead! <laughs> what is it? It's a duel with these. This is 
stupid one shot a piece. in for Calexico? Not unless you are. I was thinking of a ranch. Might be the kind of life you'd like. 